No, I am at the fucking Mecca right now. I'm at fucking the temple. I'm at Be Real TV. I know I should be in the back of my car like I usually am. Or fucking heading towards a restaurant. Right now, as, as, as I'm telling you guys, <clears throat> this story of me putting in work and filming more high and hungry content, I'm taking off tomorrow, early as fuck, in the AM, to go back to Vegas to do another round of high and hungry out there. So I'm staying busy for you guys. But today is another episode. <coughs> this misconception that some stoners might have in their head that idea of fine dining requires you to put on a fucking nice shirt <coughs> some fucking docker slacks or whatever the fuck you buy. So let's just say you're out here, right? All my fans, all the high and hungry fans are like, you know what? I'm making my trip to LA. I want to check out the five spots but that Ezone recommended. Let me tell you how you do it for this spot. If you really want to do it out some chill stoner, st stoner shit. You go to your local dispensary that you want to fuck with, but I would prefer that you go to the Dr. Green Thumb dispensary in Silmar. You know what I mean? open August 15th, where you can find my products and Dr. Nicholas' product. You go ahead and you acquire all the accoutrement, accoutrement ingredients, you know, to make this happen. And you get a nice hotel room or Airbnb. You go ahead and you download this nice little app called Postmates, right? It's not just me. Batman, be real over there, fucking Dr. Green Thumb can tell you himself. Postmates and Uber Eats and all these fucking little fucking delivery apps are the shit and they are the key. Whether you're gonna keep it healthy, fancy, or in the middle, for fucking bomb delivery foods. This code, if you haven't it for your first order, right? You get a hundred bucks right away. You're welcome, all right? This place that we're gonna experience today is one of the oldest operating restaurants in LA. This restaurant has been open since 1921. It's called the Pacific Dining Cart. And if you've never been there, you've probably seen it because if you've, if you've been out there and you've watched the movie Training Day with Alonzo, AKA Denzel Washington, you know what I mean? That when he tells his partner a cop, and he tells them, hey, why don't you fucking go get a nice little steak over there, baseball steak or something like that. And they have that meeting where they tell Lonzo about, you know, that Russian that he killed or whatever. That's that restaurant they're in. Like, this place opened up at a very historic time for Los Angeles, you know? Like, City of Angels has, has always been a historic city and we have a lot of history with it. But this is right around the time where, you know, the Coliseum had just finished being built. You know, the L.A. Coliseum. And uh, the Hollywood Bowl was, was still under construction. This is how old it was. So the Pacific Dining Cart originally started being known for being one of the places that offered a hearty good meal, right? Like they offered a good steak. At that time, it was, you know, a lot of restaurants opened up after 4 p.m. They were known for being open before 4 p.m. and having great cuts of meats and stuff. If you're a big steak fan and you love yourself a good steak, this is the place where if you're in LA, you don't want to fucking miss out. 1921, I mean, these all these other restaurants that just popped up overnight and they're popping in their hubs, they're cute and shit. But you want to go to a place that has not been has not closed down. You want to know how popping this place is? This place is open 24 fucking hours a day. Yeah, man, this is about to be dope right here. So I got me the fucking, you know, I'm going to give me the filet mignon steak, the lobster mac and cheese. This is one of the beautiful things about coming in here early in the studio, man. There's nobody ever here. You know, Nobody else has to fucking tell you, hey, I want to order this shit. This isn't that. And you know. What the fuck, bro? Oh, shit, you're here? You ordering some food? Man, bro, my bad, dog. Yeah, dog. What you I, about to get? I already placed the order, dog. My bad. No, nah, low key, dog. See, this is one of this is the fuck I'm talking about. This is Pedro right here. See, this guy always tries to get food without letting nobody know. And then the food gets here, and then it's a whole fucking mess. Be real wants food. I want food. Everyone in the building wants food. By the time this guy's food just comes here. Fine, dog. Here you can order. Get yourself a nice little baseball steak, dog. I will. Damn, they got no option for fries though, so I guess I'll get the. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is the way to go. Damn, I have never ordered a $60 steak via Postmates, <laughs> bro. <laughs> hey, that's the one thing, though. Here, look, I'm going to tell you guys this. Don't be fucking cheap to feed yourself good things. You are what you eat, all right? Like, I'm serious. There's a reason, like, there's a, like, don't get me wrong, like, everybody has different phases in their life where they have a different budget, but if you can afford to go ahead, and I'm not saying eat a $60 steak every day, but this is the once every, whenever was the last time we did this shit? Damn, we, it was a while. Yeah, it's been a minute. And like, you know, I didn't even have a steak in Vegas, motherfuckers. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And you I had White Castle. Yeah, I had White Castle because I did it for the real stoners. So. I 
I'm going to attempt to hit both at the same time. Damn, man. If you guys thought my coughing was bad already. Wait till you hit this. Yeah. <laughs> all right man this is how fucking fancy this is look man you want to go ahead and give yourself the restaurant for you you buy yourself a puff penny melt ease on collab all right let's start taking this out this place is known for this first of all i like these motherfucking i, I don't know how to pronounce it linda lint lint i like this lint fucking chocolates all right this fucking lint chocolates i fucking buy these every time the special edition ones come out but these right here like, you'll take three or four when you go to that restaurant, and I'm glad they put three in there. All right, let me see. We got a meal prep. Let me see. It kind of does look like meal preps. I wanted... It's a $60 meal prep. I, I would imagine yours is the smaller one. Jesus Christ. Damn, the smell. Oh, my God. All right, listen, everybody. This is exactly how... Everything should fucking go when you go to these places, all right? They have to, like when you post made it, especially a place this big, they don't fuck up, okay? They don't fuck up. I mean, they, they fucked up they on, fucked up. they fucked up on forgetting his mac and cheese, but no trip. We'll, we'll, we don't, that's not important. <laughs> By the way, if we had smell o vision right now, the fucking mixture of fuck, of, of so much fucking smell and spices and the way things like just, Look at this fucking steak right here. It's like, damn, man. Like it's like it's like a trampoline right here. Look at this. You can fucking jump. Like, look how tender this is right here, all right? So this is this is exactly how they how they start out, okay? When you uh you know, when you go out there, this, you gotta start out like this. They give you the fucking butter and the bread is always fucking good. Even when in delivery, you can't go wrong with the bread. Oh, this is garlic butter. Mm. My God, Pedro, mm -hmm. put the bread in. Oh, you don't like garlic, but let me tell you. What? Fuck. On. That right there is like holy tears. I mean, this, I did not even know about this fucking garlic butter. By the way, th yeah, ask for this right here. When you go to, if you go to the restaurant or if you want to go ahead and get it, and then if you get, uh, get delivered, it actually comes with it, you know, you just go ahead, I guess whatever steak you get, get it with. They don't forget it, but if you're in the restaurant and they don't bring you this and they just bring you this, you don't have to get it. I'm sorry. I was like, but um, no, it's, it's, it's fucking, you have to get it. Now, you know when, uh, you guys know when you, what you got to get a side. And I'm not really too big on lobster, but one of their highest rated things on there in regards to sides is the lobster mac and cheese. And I mean, just look at this. I mean. Fuck, it smells like clam chowder and cheese fucked. Pedro's doing work right away, right, 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 right away. You gotta get the piece with the lobster in there. Maybe get the bread, just because the garlic butter is so good. This fucking lobster and mac and cheese, like this isn't no regular mac and cheese, uh, like cheese right here. This is whatever this is made out with, made, made with, the cheese is fucking phenomenal. This. Mm. So. Fucking great. How's that steak, Pedro? It's, it's good. It's really good, actually. It's kind of hard when they give you the, like this, these, these knives right here. Let me do the good fellas fucking thing. I don't know. I'm going to fucking try this. Ah, fuck this little tomato ass motherfucker. Bitch. This is the bite right here. Mm. The fucking coating on the outside. 
gives you that first taste. There's so much seasoning on it. It's almost like a very hard layer on top of it. Man. Look at how big this is right here. Look at this, man. Like, look at how big this is. Like, listen, I'm Latino. Like, you fuck, I, this is this is why you fucking you order in. Mm. That's how you fucking do it, y'all. Pair it up with the Mac. Tremendous. I mean, yo, this place is not the place you want to eat at every day. And you know what? You don't even gotta fucking take a date to this place. Fucking take yourself, motherfucker. Like, 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 take your stomach, my dude. The people that tell you don't put a one sauce on your steak are people that have steaks like this. Straight the fuck up. This is medium. I got my medium well. It is just tremendous, man. I can't fucking tell you guys how much you need to check this place out. I wish I could have sat inside and given you the whole experience, but I didn't want to do all that fucking paperwork. Besides, come this time tomorrow, be out there somewhere in Vegas eating too. Look at Pedro. It wasn't that good, but I'm finishing it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this uh finish this steak right here, which is fucking great. I'm gonna split it with Ray. And make sure you guys subscribe to Be Real TV. Make sure you guys follow High and Hungry TV on Instagram. Anybody who buys High and Hungry t-shirts, anybody who buys High and Hungry merch and you or you want it, go to flavorsbyezone.com. Remember, if you want that honey badger, the code is EZONE15, all caps, all together. And uh, I'll see you guys in Vegas.